Hi guys, welcome back to Welcome Home Custom. Today we are going to learn how to assemble our tree day and night in the DIY size. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and review what files are included for the DIY size for tree day and night. So first and foremost, we are going to need to figure out which slot size we are going to use. This is actually fairly easy to figure out. We are going to grab our wood measurement or material measurement tool and we are going to take the wood that we plan on using for our backer and we are going to slide it into these different slots until we find what we feel is the best fit. You don't want it to be loose and you don't want to have to force it in. You just want it to be a nice tight fit. Once you figure that out, you can then go through and find the slot size of what will best work with the piece. Now, if you have an odd size that's not listed here, let's say you have a size that is 171 and not 170. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to Lightburn. I'm going to import the 175 file or I could do 170 it doesn't matter either one okay I'm gonna import the 170 file and so we see it right here okay first thing we want to do is we want to check our one inch square to make sure nothing resized if it resized then all your slots are going to be funky so make sure you check this if it did resize, then you will need to either use the PDF or check out the tutorial that I have on what happens when a file shrinks in Lightburn and how to fix it. It is on the YouTube channel. I'm going to click on this slot right here and you can see it says 170 and then your tab is also 170. So if we wanna make it 171, what we're going to do is we are going to reference the instructions and we are going to click on first the slot and we want the this little grid up top to have the center dot selected okay so what that's going to do is it's going to move everything from the center out or in. We also want our lock to be unchecked. Now you can do this in Glowforge the exact same way, as well as in Silhouette, and I believe also in Corel. They all have a similar function using this type of grid. So we're gonna click on it, and again, we're unlocked, and we're going to just change this to a one and hit enter so now this slot size is now 171 and then we're going to click on our tab and we want the tab to be frozen at the top two points and we want the bottom to move in or uh, up and down okay so we are going to click the top center because again we want it to be locked on top and the bottom to move up and down and then we're gonna change this to 171, okay? So that's how you would change your tab and your slot if you need to. What we're gonna do now is review kind of what's going on here. This is a little crazy. So if we look, we have got all kinds of different colors going on. So we are going to use the magenta only if we are using acrylic. If we are not using acrylic, then we are going to ignore that portion. That is going to make your black and your gray all score. Your magenta will be hidden. So this will be a solid backer. If we are going to use acrylic, then we are gonna to wanna to cut our magenta. 
because we want to be able to see all the way through, which means the branches will stay, but the leaves will all be cut out and that's what we're going to replace with acrylic. Our numbers will be scored, which is the gray line. And then the blue line, which is down here, is only for if you do not want to use the stand. If you want to make it just a frame that hangs on the wall by itself, we can make it a line or a cut and we can cut that tab off. If we do that, then we can also just delete our stand. You will also notice that I have all of my pieces sorted by what they are used for. So we've got the tree branches, we've got the sun, we've got the separated frame. If we delete this and we hop on over to the pieces file, it will have the remaining pieces on this. So this sun file should be a different color from the sun file that we saw on the other file. This tree right here should be a different color. And that's if you want to have your tree have two different browns, your sun could have different color rays. This is your night portion of your pieces. This is your moon portion. And then for your leaves area, this you will cut if you're using wood. If you're doing acrylic, we will just delete the leaves off. Again, you're making sure to check your one inch square to make sure nothing resized. You do not need to cut the, the green. That is simply there just as labels. We could ignore that and cut. If you're not, again, doing the acrylic, you could pull your pieces inside here or you could sort them out and use different colors. That is totally up to you. So let's go ahead and delete off this file and look at the other files that are left. We've got the clear, clear acrylic file. Again, we're only cutting this if we're using acrylic. And then last, we have the pattern acrylic file. And again, we're only cutting it if we're using acrylic. Now I decided to score additional lines. That is completely optional. You do not have to do that. You could ignore it if you wish. Let's go ahead and jump on over to assembly. Okay, so we are going to assemble our DIY tree uh, day and night. And I have the file set up two ways. We can make it with all wood, which is pretty easy. It's a straightforward DIY. And then we can use acrylic, which is a little bit different, and we can make it see-through. So. We are gonna go ahead and do the DIY first and then we will talk about the, see the acrylic see-through. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side. Let me move all these pieces over to the side. And so you'll see I have all the numbers on the back. I recommend uh, that you place all the pieces first and then we will glue all at once and I will show you how to do that in just a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all of our pieces placed looking at our frame and putting those in first, making sure we're lining up with the right letter, like so. And I will go ahead and get all the other pieces placed really quickly, and then we can move on to the next step. We can now glue this. I might clean up just a little bit, a couple of spots that I need to sand. Some of these slight burn marks actually might look okay once I oil it because of it being tree. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to use a piece of cardboard and I'm going to hold it firm against the piece and we are gonna flip the whole thing over like so and then we are going to carefully lift our backer. So now we can add glue to the backer and then we're gonna reverse the process. I'm gonna grab, I use this tool quite a bit to spread out my glue. I'm just gonna add some glue to the back here See if that's enough. If not, I'll add more. Get all the way out to our edges. Add a little more glue. 
So now I am going to flip this over, make sure my tab's on the bottom of the piece, and then we're gonna flip the whole thing over again. And we're glued. I did add a slight offset to make your pieces tighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this over to dry while we work on the other option, which is the acrylic. So the acrylic is gonna be a totally different way we're gonna attack this. So a couple of things. Number one, we're gonna to have to, let's take these pieces out. We are gonna glue those in last. We are just going to focus in on the pieces on the landscape. I've placed all of my pieces and we are going to go ahead and, let's see, we're gonna to need to tape. So I have some blue tape. I'm gonna tape my pieces into place. And this way we can still flip and glue. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so, oh, nope, it's right up here. Glue those down. Okay, so now we're going to once again grab and flip. But we are going to focus on adding glue just to down here in the landscape portion. So I'm gonna use my brush this time and I'm gonna pour it into my tray. Now you could use 3M for this if you like 3M. In that case, you would want to use the 3M on your backer and you could stick everything into place if you so choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab glue onto my piece. I am going to work all the way up to the edge, all the way around. So once again, we are going to flip this over and place it down, and then we will flip it over again. Now we can go ahead and take our tape off and we are gonna push our pieces tight. So I'm gonna push them all, make sure we're lined up on our backer, and push our pieces so that they are tight up against where they should be, okay? Now, we will wanna double check and make sure that our acrylic fits in nice, so it does put these down there it goes we can take this back out carefully i'm going to go ahead and add that piece right there just because i added glue there okay so what we're gonna do now is we're going to actually, we should probably let it dry, but we are also going to go ahead and add tongue oil or I'm gonna spray it with a polyurethane, whatever you prefer. And then also you're gonna wanna take your extra branches with you too to go ahead and spray because we're not gonna wanna spray after we've added the, uh, the acrylic. This piece right here wants to pop up. Let me grab. So this is kind of a fun way to clamp. If you're doing a paint class, rather than using clamps, you can actually use clothespins. It's an affordable way to clamp a project. So let's go ahead and take this downstairs, give it a quick coat, and then we will move on to the next step. Spray is still soaking in, so you can see it's a little shiny, wet in spots. So we're gonna set that one off to the side. And then same with this one, still kind of wet and shiny in spots, but I'm gonna go ahead and for the sake of time, start on the next part. We are going to adhere 
this 3M to the channel that is exposed all the way around. Do you guys see that channel? So we have to carefully take our 3M off. If you do not use 3M, you could use something like Weld On or E6000 to hold the clear into place. Weld On probably to hold the acrylic to acrylic. Okay, so I am carefully peeling this off. Probably should have carefully peeled off the back first, but I didn't. Whoops. We'll come back to that in a sec. No one freak out, but I'm gonna lay it down flat while it's still drying. Okay, so we are going to place this down into position. Looks good. And then let me go ahead and, all right. So now we can flip it back over and we are going to take our acrylic and we are going to place it down and adhere to the 3M that is behind it. We are going to place our other pieces. For our other pieces, we are still lining them up with the number, but we're gonna have to add just a little bit of glue to them. So we are going to carefully just dab some glue and then we are going to set it into place. Let's go ahead and do it again. Working it all the way around. And we can put it in a window and the leaves will shine really bright and pretty. Now, the last thing we're gonna wanna do is add it to the stand. So let's go ahead and move back to this one since I just glued this guy. And all we're gonna do is set it down into its slot. Forgot to download the correct one there. That's a good one. There it is in its stand. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more tutorials just like this. Thanks so much.